In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to export the data from our design to a CSV file. That way we could have a better idea on how our finished uh, DNA origami structure is going to look. So after you're done with putting all your bases into your design, we're going to hit the export button up here. And this is going to allow us to save uh, all the information on this design here as a CSV file. I already have it saved, so I'm not going to hit the save button. But you will just give it any name that you want and then just hit save. And you should be good to go over there. So let's look at that file we just uh, exported. So we have two files here. This is the one we're looking for. This file here is that is your initial file that you created when creating your design. So this file is going to become important later uh, once we send it to the uh, can do software. So let's open this file here. Okay, so what do we have here? So we have a few uh, columns up here. We have start and sequence length and color. The start uh, it tells you where this sequence starts or what position. So the first number is the helix and the second number here in the brackets, that is the base. So let's go find this one here on our original design. So seven, helix seven and base 11. Okay, so we want base 11. So let's move the slider to 11 and you can see the numbers up atop over here and then go to helix 7. So it's right here. So it looks like it's this red one right here, this red square. This is where it starts. Okay, so what do we have here? We have T, C, A, C, G, A. Let's go back to that file. What do you have? T, C, A, C, G, A. So you can see that it matches. And in later videos, we're going to show you how we could work this to edit uh, the bases that are here. The length tells you how long that sequence is or that's that staple strand and the color tells you the color that that strand is so that color code is a universal color code for that computers use to identify colors so that would be that red color here and you could sometimes use this so you can uh, coordinate or group all these by color if you want and that's into more advanced uh, uh, designing steps and we'll probably go over that in a future video so now that we have our file here let's go to the uh, can do software so we can upload this and get our designs out in a rendered form so what you do is go to the can do website here and then you're going to have to create an account so it's the account is free. You just have to input your information, pick a username and password, and you should be able to access uh, this website immediately after you create it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go after you log in, you're gonna hit submissions, uh, can handle file submissions, which I already have open here, and we're gonna you're gonna come to this page, and then you're gonna scroll down to where it says model resolution. You're gonna click the find option. And then we're going to select the file that we need. So this is that JSON file I was talking to you about, the original one that you create uh, once you start making your design. So you hit Browse. You click Square. Oh, you click, excuse me, I was thinking about the file name. But you click on this JSON file here for that I have here that I named Standard Square. Open. It uploads it. We have a square lattice type. So we're going to use square here. So that's fine like this. Uh, a movie, you could choose to have a movie. So we're going to click yes. And this movie shows you the uh, thermal fluctuations of the DNA when the DNA structure adds, is at uh, 298 Kelvin. Uh, we're here we're going to have an atomic model, which is a more detailed model of your design. And we're going to click yes. 
choose do not choose this second option with the movie uh, I usually find that it usually fails and it will not work and you'll never get your atomic model so just pick this one you should be fine with this uh, because we picked this option we need to upload that CSV file we exported so we're gonna hit browse pick our file and then you just hit submit and then you'll be receiving emails uh, from the system telling you hey you're we're working on your model and you're gonna get it shortly and once and you're gonna be, get another email saying hey you could download your model from this website here and they'll send you a link in that email I already have my results so let's go look at my results so I have a separate file here that I made called results and initially you're gonna get a these two files like these are compressed files and you just have to uncompress them or extract them to wherever you want them and you'll be able to get your results that you see here and now let's look at our models here so this is a very simple uh, how it shows you the overall shape very simple as you can see our model is not perfectly flat and you're going to see that with your models because remember this is you're working in a really small scale molecules are moving around there's a lot of tension in between the molecule because all the structure is all contorted so you're going to see stuff like this and you could refine your design so it comes out more straight see from the side this is a slightly more detailed tells you uh where the places fluctuate the most so usually the red you're going to see more fluctuations and usually the blue is a lot less it's like more stable you could think about it that way the sign sign this is our atomic model right here you can see there's a lot more detail one thing you can notice is that the colors of the staple strands here match the colors of your design let's go back to our design you can see that this red right here on the left side weaving up is the same as over here and if you go back you can see that all the colors match this is a great model to have from the side and there you go okay so now these is our these are our movies here you can see that there's more fluctuation here these are very short movies they're not that long it's just to give you an overall idea you can keep on playing them and you get it from all directions I hope this was helpful and this concludes this tutorial.